you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 13th wednesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 39 As soon as they left the synagogue they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever and they told him about her at once he came and took her by the hand and lifted up then the fever left her and she began to serve them the day evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with the demons and the whole city was gathered around the door and he cured many who were with, sick with various diseases and cast out many demons and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him in the morning while it was still dark he got up and went out to a deserted place and there he prayed and Simon and his companions hunted for him When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighbor's towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, we continue from yesterday's reading following a day in the public life of jesus it was still sabbath and after the synagogue service jesus now goes to the house of his two disciples simon and andrew in capernaum in the house jesus finds peter's mother in law confined to bed because of a fever when he is told about it he immediately goes to see her takes her by the hand lips her up and heals her immediately she gets up and begins to serve them this is not simply because that is the role of woman in the home in the evening once a sabbath was over people were free to move around so large numbers come seeking out jesus to be healed of their sicknesses and to be freed from the power of evil spirits the whole town was gathered at the door that is the door of house where jesus was many times we will see a, a reference to the house where jesus is it seems to be a symbol of the place where jesus is gathered with those who are close to him a symbol of a christian community <clears throat> the following morning jesus leaves goes to the hill to be alone and pray everyone is looking for you they told him although there are many demands being made on him by the people of capernaum jesus he needs time for himself to renew his spiritual energy and to be in contact with the father and b as to think of the needs of the other people also jesus may have been the son of god but he could only be in the one place at a time and during those three years of public life he really only reached a very small number of people to reach the rest he needed and still needs our help when jesus returns from his prayer he does not go back to capernaum although there were certainly more people to be healed and helped there instead he went on to synagogues all over galilee proclaiming his message of the kingdom and making it a reality by healing the sick and liberating those controlled by evil forces this scene brings up the importance for us of avail- availability we do need to be available to all those who are in genuine need at the same time there is what we might call the poverty of availability poverty of availability no matter how generous and self giving we are we can only give so much we need to find a balance between people's needs and our limited resources 
We do not help people by working ourselves to the point of burnout. We also need quality time to be with God, to pray and to reflect on our priorities. Jesus gives us an excellent example here. Amen. May God bless us.